This program is brought to you by the friends and partners of AMI. Hallelujah Ministries International believes in the Bible and Christ. We are Christ-centered and Jesus is at the heart of everything we believe and do. Our mission is to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ around the world. Through this mission, we seek to empower believers and equip them with the tools to share the gospel with the world and to live a life of faith, hope and love in Christ. Jesus remains the same yesterday, today and forever. Just as it was in scripture, his power is at work today in the church. We are AMI. Hallelujah. Good evening, saints. Can we all rise as we prepare to connect in His presence? He is Lord, He is God, He is might. Let us pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. We glorify your name, we magnify your name, we bless your holy name. You alone are God, worthy of all praises, worthy of all the honor. Here we are once again, Lord, in your presence. We are here because we trust in you. We are here because we believe in you. We are here because we depend on you. Meet each and every one of us in our place and area of need. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we all say in agreement and in thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. How many of you love the Lord? I just love Him. And I know that I will always love Him. It will never change. Maya Soto. I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord.
Somebody wave to the Lord. And as you wave to Him, you are waving all your troubles away. All your problems. Waving all the sickness away. So long, bye-bye. So long, bye-bye. So long.
church. So long, bye-bye. Hey, hey, hey. So long, bye-bye. Goodbye to my pain and my sorrow. So long, bye-bye. Can the choir help us now? So long, bye-bye. No more fear, no more pain. There's only what? When that all goes, all that remains is joy in his presence. Somebody say joy. Somebody say it one more time, joy. Oh, yeah. Can I hear the clap of your hands for joy? Sing it again. There's beauty in my broken head. I got to love instead of pain. Freedom, though you could 
hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. There's no one like him, hallelujah. Hallelujah, Ministries International, you can do better for Jesus. Please give him a shout of praise, hallelujah. If you know that it's by grace, I said if you know that it's by grace, if you know that it's because of what he has done, you will shout better than that, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Indeed, there is no one like our God. Nobody can love us like he does. Nobody can grace us like he does. Nobody can bless us like he does. That's why we stand and we sing. We say, there is no one like him. There is no one like him. And there will never be any other like him. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Jesus one more time. Everybody in the auditorium, let us lift our voices to heaven. Hallelujah. Indeed, there is nobody like our God. And in this moment, in this season, our God has chosen a man. Yes. He has chosen a man to stand for this generation. He's chosen a man to be on his knees for you and I. Yes. I am speaking of my spiritual father, your spiritual father, Apostle Alpha Lucao. Come on, family. There is a man that deserves honor today, and that is your father. Come on, make some noise in the auditorium for your father in this moment. Glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. Man of God, you can hear by the noise in this place that indeed you have sons and daughters that are honoring you in this moment. Our only prayer is that you continue. You continue serving God. You continue making those sacrifices for the upliftment of those that are under you. Men of God, we just love you. Hallelujah. 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 Men of God, we just love you indeed. My brother, what you just did is spiritual and is right. What the family has just helped you do, the, the people online that are connected right now, they are in alignment with the Word of God. The book of Malachi 1.6 says that simply that a son honors his father, a daughter honors his father. Amen. AMI, I want you to honor him again yes. for the last time. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Papa, we really love you and we thank God for you. There's a lot that we can say about you. And sometimes we try to find the right words, we just can't find them. But my father, what we want to let you know is that we love you and we'll continue to follow you. We will remain in covenant for as long as we see you, we know that God is with us. We love you, my father. And yes, right next to our father is a beautiful woman of God. Not only is she beautiful, but she's clothed with power. Ooh. Hallelujah. <laughs> she is none other than Bishop Celeste Lukau, Mama Celeste Lukau. Hallelujah, family. Hallelujah. Mama, we love you. My mother, only you can stand next to our father in the way that you do. Only a woman that is aligned with God can stand next to the men of God the way you do. As your sons and your daughters on site and online, we just want to let you know that we love you. When we hear you speak, we hear our Father through you. Indeed, the both of you are one in flesh and in spirit. My mother, we just love you. And I know that everyone that is here right now and online are giving themselves a very warm hug from Bishop Celeste Lukau. My mom, we just want to say that we love you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Indeed, mommy, we just love you. We appreciate you. And our only prayer is that you may keep increasing and growing to the glory of God. Family in the auditorium today, kindly take your seats. Allow me in this moment to once again stretch out a, welcome, a welcoming hand to somebody that is watching us from anywhere around the world. I want you to know that you've made a wise decision to join us for the teaching and healing service. And I believe that this altar has something for you. Those that are watching via YouTube, put in the comment section, let us know where you are watching us from and ensure that you are liking this telecast 
while being subscribed to this channel. Hit the notification bell to remain connected to what God is doing in this altar. Those that are watching via Facebook, we see you, we love you. We want you to make sure that you are following this telecast. Those that are watching through Instagram, through X, let us know where you are watching us from and ensure that you are indeed following the pages to remain properly connected to the altar of God. Those that are watching via our beloved AMI TV, we just love you. We appreciate you. We thank God for you and we believe that God has something in store for you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, my brother, I heard that today there's a different kind of party after the teaching and healing service. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, it's a party none like any other party. Hallelujah. Well, family, we just want to let you know that after the teaching and healing service right here in this auditorium on this altar, is our hour of visitation. And yes, I said our hour of visitation oh, yes. because I believe I am a radical myself. Radicals, can I hear you? You can do better than that. Oh, yes. There are people who can shout better than that for Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. It is happening right here, right now. If you are a young person, if you are a young person at heart, and you were just here for the teaching and healing service and you were thinking maybe after this, you know, you'll depart. Look, you are more than welcome to stay. This hour of visitation is for you too. You are welcome. It will be happening here in the auditorium. Hallelujah. God bless you. Family, it is now time for the announcements. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau live daily for the rise of the prophetic voice where the man of God goes deeper into the word of God from 5 p.m. until 6 p.m. Central African time. This will exclude Fridays and Sundays. Pastor Alf Lukau will also be live daily. This will be Let's Pray, a powerful moment of prayer with Pastor Alf Lukau from 10 p.m. until 11 p.m. Central African time. You can follow our man of God on his Facebook page, Alf Lukau. On Instagram, still Alf Lukau. And on Twitter, the handle is at Alf Lukau. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Pastor Alf Lukau. Don't forget to click on the bell for notifications on our live services and new videos. Catch Pastor Alf Lukau on these following TV stations. Faith World TV in the United Kingdom, broadcasting both online and on Sky Channel 589 every Saturdays from 7 a.m. until 7.30 a.m. Pastor of Lukau is now on Soweto TV, Channel 251, every Sunday evenings from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. We also have our own 24-7 TV channel, AMI TV, on the public bouquet, airing all over Africa and Europe 365 days a year. Our service times are as follows. We have our teaching and healing service every Friday from 7 p.m. until 9 p.m. You are invited to come and fellowship with us every Sunday. Join us for our morning glory service, which starts from 7 a.m. until 8 a.m., followed by our celebration service, which starts from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m., and lastly, our Holy Ghost service from 1 p.m. until 3 p.m. Hallelujah Ministries International is not a church of members, but a church of disciples. We have home sales held Wednesday evenings from 6.30 p.m. until 7.30 p.m. If you don't belong to any home sale, please either call the office or go to the home sale desk in the foyer on a Sunday. Here is a step-by-step -step guideline on how to make safe online payments to Alleluia Ministries International from any country around the globe using your computer, your laptop, your cell phone, or any device of your choice. Let's begin. The first step would be to open your web browser Type in www.alleluliaministries.com. This will lead you to Alleluia Ministries International's welcome page. Select the tab written Online Giving, where you will find our three different payment options. Namely, PayPal, NetBank, and lastly, credit card or debit card payment options. For payment via PayPal, click on the PayPal icon, which will redirect you to our PayPal payment page. Insert the amount you wish to transfer and click on the option donate with PayPal or donate with credit card. If you're paying with your credit card, fill in all your details, your credit card number, and click the box below to confirm that you've read all the information and finally click on donate now. For payments into our net bank account, use only the banking details on Alleluia Ministries International's website. Our net bank details are as follows. 
Account name, Alleluia Ministries International, NPC. Account number, 120-582-7692. Branch code, 197005. Swift code, N-E-D-S-Z-A-J-J. Use your name and surname as reference, or use the purpose of your payment as reference. For example, tithes, seed offering, prophetic seed, IVP accommodation, or TV ministries. To donate using a credit card or debit card, fill in the information below in detail. Kindly note that payments will be deducted in South African rands. Once all information has been filled in correctly, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box on your bottom left corner. Proceed to click on Place Order. Once all payments are made, you will receive an email from Alleluia Ministries International confirming that your payment has been well received. These are our only payment options and you are advised to take extra caution. Thank you for your time and may God bless you as you send forth your seed. Beloved, it is time for our offering. Somebody make a Holy Ghost noise in the house of God. This is the day that the Lord has made and the devil has nothing to it to do with it and you and i will rejoice if you're online i welcome you to the seven o'clock teaching and healing service this is time for the offering but i want you to celebrate jesus tonight celebrate the holy spirit celebrate the word of god and put your hands together as we celebrate the guardian of this altar, the great apostle, the general of God, the prophet of the last day. I wish I just had to speak about the prophet and leave the offering just for you to put it in the basket. Put your hands together for Apostle Alf Lukau, your father and my father. Men of God, I love you together for life. I put your hands together at this moment for our mother. My time is short. Put your hands together for Bishop Celeste Lukau, the woman given to the things of the spirit. We just love you, mommy. I love you. I can't miss this part. You are blessed. Somebody help me. Your children are blessed. The works of your hands are blessed. Your husband is blessed. Your marriage is blessed. Somebody celebrate Jesus for Bishop Celeste. You may be seated in the house of God as I honor General Wiseman, the only seven-star general. General, I love you together for life. And we thank God for our bishops, Bishop Stefan and Bishop Shepherd. Somebody put your hands together. Well, we're going to read. It's time for the offering. We are prepared. We are children who are taught in the word of God. We have been taught by our Father and we are teaching ourselves every day. We advance as we spend time in the word of God. So what I'm going to say tonight is what you already know. But I want us to pay attention to your heart. The condition and the state of your heart when it comes to finances. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart. What have you purposed in your heart tonight? What have you decided that you will give thanks unto God for this week? Just this week, because if I go back to January, we're going to have to give a heavy offering. But just to say, God, today I thank you for waking me up this morning. Somebody couldn't wake up this morning. Somebody is on machines in hospitals, but Lord, you've given me the breath of life. Not grudgingly or of necessity, but God loves a cheerful giver. I want you to be cheerful this evening as you give that which you have purposed in your heart. And if you're online, God bless you for your seed. Our banking details are coming on the screen as you have purposed in your heart what to give unto God. I pray the Lord open the barns, your, the, your barns. May your barns never lack. May you always have plenty. If you're under the sound of my father's voice, I want you to take out your offering. As the baskets are going by, I want to decree over your life. The ushers can start uh, with the baskets. If you have um, 
cards that you want to use. There are pay points here in front. You may do it. I want to pray for somebody online as the banking details are on the screen and for those on site. May your blessing never escape your hands. May the Lord bless you as you begin to give. May the heavens and the floodgates of heavens open concerning your life. Somebody give unto the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord. We will all rise and glorify the King of Kings. Live out. 
Hallelujah. Put your hands together if your trust is in the Lord. Hallelujah, ministries. Put your hands together. If you know that you know that your trust is not in a man, your trust is not in a system, your trust is not in any other mechanism of this world, but that your trust is in the Lord, who alone is God enough to do what he said he would do? Who alone is God enough to watch after the words that he has pronounced? Can we sing it one more time? In thee, O God. Oh, lift your hands in the air. Worship him if your trust is in him. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In you, we put our trust to God. In you, we put our trust to God. time put your hands together for the Lord come on hallelujah ministries international all over the building somebody give Jesus a praise hallelujah on a night such as this one he deserves the glory he deserves the praise he deserves the cheers of his people he deserves the shouts of his saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Manderebo shatabakaya basete. With your hands lifted. If there is anything you trust in God for tonight, I want you to open up your mouth and articulate it. You are before the throne of grace and mercy. You are in the presence of the Most High God. You are right in front of the maker of the universe. In the midst of the one who says, I am the Lord God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me to do? If there is something you are trusting him for, open up your mouth and articulate that which is in your heart unto him tonight in the name of Jesus. I guarantee you he is hearing as you are speaking. As you are asking, he is the one that is answering. I don't know about you, but there is absolutely nothing that I do not trust God for in my life. 
I understand that everything that I ever need and everything that I would ever want can only emanate for the, from my spiritual and heavenly Father. The one who sits upon the throne with all power in his hand. My source from which cometh everything. Somebody pray, speak to God. The Bible says, cursed is a man who puts his trust in another man. I don't know about you, but I don't want to be under a curse. I choose to put my trust in the Lord. I, put, I choose to put my trust in the one who is not a man that he would lie. The one who is not the son of a man that he will repent. The one who does not change his mind, but the one who can uphold his word and cause it to come to pass. He gave you a promise it was not in vain. There was a prophetic utterance that was released concerning your, your life in this season. I just want you to open up your mouth and with faith, Mandeka Rabasiteke Abasha, articulate that which you believe that he alone can do in your life somebody pray speak to God when the it is always different with him when men say there is a casting down he says there is a lifting up. If you're trusting him for anything at all this evening, whether you are on site, whether you are online, I pray now and I beseech you to call upon the name of Jehovah. Present your petition before the Lord. That which a man cannot do, he can do. That which is impossible with man is possible with God. If you trust him for that thing, present it before him tonight. In the name of Jesus, somebody is praying. And I know there is a God that is answering. Somebody is praying. And I know that heaven is responding. Somebody is praying. And I know that the heavens are opening up. Somebody is praying. And I know a way is being made right now. Somebody is praying. And I know a door is opening right now. Somebody is praying. And because you are trusting him, you are committing him to act. And I want to tell you his hand is busy moving now. He's busy moving now for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on for one more minute. Somebody present your petition before God. If you trust him to do it, if you trust him to turn it around, if you trust him to change your story, if you trust him to change the narrative, if you, tr if you trust him to change the report of the doctor, somebody pray, speak to God. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. With your eyes closed, lift them as high as they can get. Literally as if you're trying to touch heaven. Because it is only when by faith, through prayer, we manage to touch heaven that we are ready to change earth. I decree and I declare that something is happening tonight that will change your situation, that will change your circumstance, that will change your story, that will change your narrative. As you are touching heaven, there is power that is being released from heaven to turn the situation around. 
and to change your circumstances on the face of the earth. With those hands lifted, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your presence in the midst of your people. We thank you for the move of your spirit in this place. And we thank you for your word that is coming to us. For the Bible says you sent your word and your word healed them, O oh God. We position ourselves as we are waiting to receive your word. We position ourselves for healing. We position ourselves for deliverance. We position ourselves for breakthrough. We position ourselves for a turnaround of God and we pray that every word that will proceed from the mouth of your servant will be indeed your word. Speak through our vocal cords, oh God, and bless your people. Give us today our daily bread. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with thanksgiving. Say amen. Put your hands together. Come on, this is AMI. Put your hands together. We're a little bit noisy, but that's how we win. We're a little bit noisy, but that's how we break through. We're a little bit noisy, but that's how we cause heaven to come down. Somebody make a Holy Ghost crazy noise. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. With the same joy, why don't you put your hands together as we celebrate the Lord for the man of God that he has blessed us with. Put your hands together and honor the general overseer and senior pastor of Hallelujah Ministries International. Our spiritual covering, our Moses and our symbol of authority. I'm talking about his grace, Apostle of... Lucal. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Can you now please help me honor right in this place the First Lady of Hallelujah Ministries International. Look out! Come on, make some noise for mommy! Hallelujah! Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may be seated in God's presence. I greet you all in the wonderful and most glorious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I greet and honor the woman of God, Bishop Jackie. I greet and honor all the pastors, all the ministers, every person that is in this place tonight. It is definitely not by accident that you find yourself here. It is not by accident. It is not by, how can I say, coming together. It is, I believe, with everything inside of me, by divine appointment, that you find yourself in the house of the Lord tonight. I believe it is by divine appointment that you find yourself connecting right now, whether you are on YouTube, whether you are on Facebook, whether you are watching now on AMI TV. God wanted you to be connected. God wanted you to be watching. God wanted you to be here. God will not call a meeting and not attend it. The Bible is clear where two or three are gathered in his name. There he is in their midst. You don't need to figure out, is God in this place at all? 
Your presence, his presence, her presence is the guarantee that the one who always honors his word is in the midst of his people. And he never comes without an agenda. He never shows up without you having an ability to show off. I say this over and over again whenever I have an opportunity to be on this platform from which I am so grateful to my father for the honor and the privilege. I always say something good is in store. Something good is about to happen. Something beautiful is on the way. Help is on the way. I may not know what you're going through, but I know the one that is taking you through. Are you hearing what I'm saying right now? I say, I may not know what you're going through, but I, I know who is taking you through. When it's all said and done, you shall be the last woman standing. You shall be the last man standing. You shall have a smile on your face. You shall have a testimony to give. You shall have a praise report to bring everywhere you go. You shall tell them, look at what the Lord has done. His hand is always on the move, working out something for you. You cannot come out of this place the same way you came in. Not with my Jesus. I said not with my Jesus. You cannot and you will not leave this place the same way that you came. But it is not my might, nor by power. But by my spirit, saith the Lord. It is not by our emotions that we get to touch and experience the very thing that God has prepared for us. We can only tap by faith. Oh, I pray like we sang just a moment ago that we will put our trust in God. We are already in April, already mid-April, and you begin to wonder, my God, MFB, when am I going to see something tangible? Just tell you tonight that that which you are waiting to see has already happened. <laughs> Can I tell you tonight that that which you are awaiting to feel is already in the inside of you, whether you can feel it or not. Can I tell you that the news you are awaiting to hear has already been announced? you have not yet heard it. Can I tell you that that door has already been opened. A red carpet has already been placed. They are just waiting on you to enter through that door. A child will make his request known to mom and daddy before he or she leaves the house. And the child will be trusting that the moment they hear the horn of the car indicating that mom or dad is back home, that they will indeed now see, touch the very thing that they have requested of their parents. He says in his word, if you who are evil, wicked, can give good things to your children when they ask you how much more of your father who is in heaven. You have been called to a next level. You cannot be in 2024 the way you were in 2023. The devil is a liar. I say you cannot be in 2024 the way you were in 2023. If that was what God had designed for you, he would have kept you in 2020. But the reason why you crossed over 
was so you can encounter that which God had in store for you in 2024. I don't know about you, but I'm determined to touch. I'm determined to see. I'm determined to experience. I'm determined to be able to walk with everything that God had prepared for me in this year. For 400 years, the children of Israel were slaves in Egypt. But for every time of bondage, there is an expiry date. For every battle you're going through, there is an expiry date. As good and as well as it started on one day, there is a day where it will end. Can I prophesy the day of a victory? Can I prophesy today the day of your turnaround? Can I prophesy today the day of your joy? Can I prophesy that today everything will not be like it was? The gospel is not that complicated. God is not hiding himself somewhere waiting for you to fast for 40 days so you can find him. God is not playing hard to get. Can I tell you tonight, he delights in the children who are seeking him and he is ready to show up and reveal himself. He says, you will look for me, you will search for me, and you will find me if you will do so with all of your heart. On the 1st of January 2024, when you crossed over into this year of multiple fronts breakthrough, everything that you needed was downloaded into your spirit. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I want you to understand there is nothing that is yet to come to you. Everything has already been downloaded in your system. Everything is already in the inside of you. You are pregnant with 2024. You were pregnant with 2024. You entered on the 1st of Jan to deliver 2024. With every push of every month, you shall indeed be able to see with glory the revelation of the thing that you have been carrying all along. Everything you went through was for a reason. Every battle you faced was for a reason. Every resistance of the enemy was for a reason. Every cry you cried, every you shared was for a reason. Moments where people left you was for a reason. Where people backbited you, when people you just, you know, just stabbed you in the back. Ah, uh, my English is failing me, but my anointing is fresh. I say my anointing is fresh. There is a yoke that is about to be destroyed. There is a burden that is about to be removed. Somebody is about to get that which God had prepared for you. The title of the short presentation of the word that I have for you tonight. Please have your seat. The title is your next level is in you. Your next level is in you. It's not, any, it's not anywhere else. It's in the inside of you. God will not allow you to have a dream that you cannot give birth to. Can I say that again? God will not allow you to have a dream that you cannot give birth to. He says to Abraham, position yourself. <laughs> ah, come outside. Look. As far as far somebody has seen far 
Somebody has, has seen far beyond the generations before you. You have seen far beyond the history of your family. You have seen far beyond your qualification. You have seen far beyond what your money can afford. You have seen far beyond everything you, that you've been acquainted with. And God was by your side when you were seen. Telling you work that I sight the best way you can because as far as you can see, as far as you can see, not I will give it to you, but I give it to you. It shall be yours tomorrow, but you can possess it today. If you can see it, it shall be yours. If you can see it, it shall be yours. Meka rabazoto koroboshia. Your next level is in the inside of you. Don't get excited because they told you there's a brand new prophet in town. It has nothing to do with a visiting prophet. It has everything to do with you because the thing is not there. The thing is in the inside of you. I don't know about you, but uh, way before we crossed over, my prophet, because I only have my prophet, uh, the prophet to the prophet, the prophet of the prophet, the prophet to the nations of the world. That's what I wanted to say. Spoke the MFB. Meaning, and I have to say this again, you were... You were pregnant with MFB way before you crossed over to 2024. Every difficulty you are encountering now is an element to put you out of your comfort zone and condemn you to a push that will cause you to deliver that which is already in the inside of you. That company is already in the inside of you. That contract is already in the inside of you. That family that you want to build is already in the inside of you. Some of you in your dreams you have seen that thing. Some of you in a day vision you saw that thing. They cannot take it away from you because in your mind it is so clear. It is in the inside of you. You walk with it every day. When people mock you, you couldn't care less because they see you on the outside. They don't know what you're carrying in the inside. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Your next level, your future is in the inside of you therefore he says to you guard your heart more than anything else guard your heart because it is from this heart that flows the issues of life in the night or in the evening, even in the night, it was supposed to be Rachel. But behold, in the morning, it was Leah. Am I talking to somebody? Hey, they called you names, but they don't know the name that God called you because it is in the inside of you. Can I tell you one thing? Many a times we give the names officially when the baby is born. But the truth of the matter is that we had already given a name, you know, when we were carrying the child. Am I talking to any lady under the sound of my voice? Every time you will rub your tummy, you will talk to your children, you will call them by name. I, I, I need to tell you, your destiny is everything that you call it to be because you understand it is in the inside of you. I'm talking to people under the sound of my voice who are pregnant with millions of dollars. Uh, 
and I'm talk, not talking about Zim dolls. That's why they had to change it into a new currency. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Some of you are pregnant here with the destiny of an entire nation, with the destiny of an entire family. Generations after you will bless God that you lived on the face of the earth because you brought to the family, you brought to the community something that was not before you came and manifest. MFB is your year of manifestation. I say MFB is your year of manifestation. You are about to manifest what God always knew. You are about to manifest what he told you years ago in the secret place. Nobody knows about it. It's just between you and Jehovah. That's why when they slander you, you laugh at them. When they say you got nothing, you laugh at them. When they say your life will never amount to anything, you laugh secretly. You say, wait, wait. It's only a matter of time I'm about to be revealed I'm to be manifested it's about to come out of me the very thing that I've been pregnant for for years and for hey Bible shakata bababo set rea mama 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 in the rebush hekata raya masata baha we got to go into the word. Please have your seat. <laughs> Please have your seat. Mark chapter 4, we'll read from verse 35. This is a portion of scripture that you know very well. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, multiple fronts breakthrough. Hallelujah. The Bible says, he said to them, let us. When God tells you multiple fronts breakthrough, he does not subtract himself from the word he has given you. Let us, not you. Let us. I am right in the mix of this thing that I told you. Let us cross over to the other side. Let us cross over to your next level. Let us cross over to your season of promotion. Let us cross over to your dan dan da da. Ah, the devil is a liar. I said the devil is a liar. He should have killed you before you made it to 2024. It's too late. It's too, somebody do this. Take it, grab it. It is yours in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let us cross over to the other side. There is an other side of everything that you have known so far. And sometimes God does not tell you exactly what it is. So Abraham, Bishop Jay is walking with Isaac. But every step that he took towards the place where he was going to sacrifice the child. He did not know that on the other side, there was a ram that God had prepared. There is something that he has prepared for you on the other side of your pain. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you have been going through seasons of pain. You have been going through seasons of crying yourself to sleep, wet in your pillow in the midnight hour. You have been going through seasons of being ignored, tolerated at least. Nobody wants to see you. Nobody wants to clap hands for you. Nobody wants to be in your presence. People look at you from far asking who are you? You are being in a season where you wanted God. 
Am I lost? Am I lost? After so many years serving you in AMI, I don't know. Am I lost? Or am I still on the way? God, after sowing and sowing and sowing and sowing again and sowing again in tears, giving my very last sometimes, God, will there ever be a day of harvest for me? That day, you are carrying it. That miracle, you are carrying it. That breakthrough is in the inside of you. That's why sometimes nothing is no longer comfortable. Uh, you don't know what is the right position. Should you sleep like this? Sleep on your back or sleep like this? Oh, some of us uh, uh, who went through that, uh, uh, she will only feel better when she sleeps with her legs on your tummy. Woman, what? I understand why in English, in French, we don't have that expression. But in English, we say we are expecting. Meaning I'm also suffering. I may not be feeling when it's kicking, but in the midnight hour, ah, uh, they are sleeping with legs on me because that's how they can be comfortable. All of a sudden, I have no right to put my cologne, the same one she loved and bought for me, because now the smell is different. Hey! Because you are expecting, nothing is ever the same. Uh, uh, you are a slim feet. Uh, now you are going overboard uh, and you are piling up. Uh, uh, you're trying your best, uh, but. <laughs> because your next level is in the inside of you. You're carrying your miracle. Are you hearing me? You're carrying your miracle. In a little while, you are about to make an announcement. In a little while, you are about to make an announcement. Those who mock you, mocked you, will be the first to come. And your next level is in the inside of you. Let us. You're not alone. Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost are with you in that very thing that you're going through. Are you hearing me? That's why you should not fear. That's why you should not throw in the towel. That's why you should not turn your back on your church and on your men of God saying it's not working it was all a lie no God cannot lie your circumstances are lying to you your situation is lying to you you are not what you're going through you are everything that you will be once you have been through am I talking to somebody tonight next verse please please have your seat now, when they had left the multitude, you see, when you're pregnant, you can't just be anywhere and everywhere. Because you're carrying something, you cannot just, you know, walk with everybody. How can two walk together if they do not agree? You should be walking with people of like mind. The people who are speaking the words that you are speaking. The, be, the people who believe in a big God who does big things. The people who are able uh, uh, to tell you we shall make it. If they're not speaking your language, what are you doing with them? It shall end in a misunderstanding. Are you hearing me? There shall be a breakdown in communication. Because you don't speak the same, you cannot walk the same. Are you hearing me? Because you don't talk the same, you cannot walk the same. They took him along in the boat. You see, many at times we run into the things 
that he said, but we don't take him along. The thing will only manifest if you take along with you the God who spoke the thing. You will understand in a minute. The Bible says they took him along in the boat as he was and other little boats were also with him. Next verse. And a great windstorm arose. You've heard your father, Apostle Aflokau, say this over and over again. Your trial, your tribulation, your battle is an indication of the blessing, of the miracle, of the breakthrough that is coming your way. You, you, you may be here, you have no clue what God is preparing for you. Bishop Jay, I was in Maputo, Mozambique last weekend. And after we had a great time, you know, it was Women's Day over there. So after we had a great time in the presence of the Lord, we are having a brunch, nice food at Pastor Fernando's place. And then I see this light-skinned, beautiful lady. And then there was another lady next to her. They said, no, the lady is married. And then I asked, but what about the other one, the beautiful one? Pastor tells me she's not married. I look at my wife. I said, babe, don't you think that this, will, this girl will be so good for Pastor so-and-so in Jerusalem? in Maputo, Mozambique. The woman does not even speak English, she speaks Portuguese. But as I am looking at her, I am seeing a pastor here in Jerusalem. <laughs> pastor Let looks at the woman and says, ah, I see it. I think this one will be good for that pastor. <laughs> I'm not saying anything else, please. <laughs> Don't worry. We leave it to the Lord. If I saw right, it shall take place. Put your hands together. God is working something out for you. You're sitting here listening to the preacher, but heaven is preparing something. You are about to be served. Somebody holler, I'm about to be served. Come on, say like you meant it. I'm about to be served. And God never get it wrong when it comes to what you have ordered. Am I talking to somebody? I say God never gets it wrong when it comes to what you have ordered. It will come exactly as you saw it and exactly as you ordered it. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, and a great windstorm arose. And the waves bit into the boat. Listen, when the battle comes, you shall not be spared. Am I talking to somebody? It's getting quiet in here. Nobody likes this part. But this part is real. The Bible says the windstorm was great. And the waves beat into the boat. They were not caressing the boat. They beat into the boat. Warfare is real. You cannot sleep the whole night snoring and thinking it's going to be all right. No. It got to be a time of the night where you stand up and go agonizing mode. A witch must die.
No, but God promised it. Yes, but he also promised the children of Israel a land flowing milk and honey. But there were giants on that land. Would you be bold enough to trust him and enter in the land, though there be giants there, and say, listen, you giants, I have come to serve notice of eviction. Because this land has been given to me by a divine decree. God said to me, this belongs to me. So I have come to serve notice. And at that time, the giants will look at you and say, ooh, shorty, smallie. Who do you think you're talking to? Unfortunately, some, when they just hear that, they say, no. I'm talking to the right person. I, I think my land was the one at the back. I want no trouble. If you want no trouble, you're not ready for what God has in store for you. I was of those who wanted to be just perfect. I wanted it. I still am like that. But at least I have come now to the realization it's not possible. You cannot please everybody. Are you hearing me? It doesn't matter how hard you try. You cannot please everybody. They'll tell you, I hate your twain. You'll come next day speaking as if you were just coming from Zululand. And they'll tell you, why are you imitating us? You are not Zulu. You'll come back the next day. You are just now speaking with a French accent to say you are Congolese. You are not French. They will always find something wrong with you. You come dressed up with a nice suit. They say they always come with suits here. Why, why can't you come with the jeans and, and, and pair of sneakers? Next day you come with jeans and pair of sneakers just because it has a brand. What, 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 what does he want to show us now? That he is able to buy those kind of... You can never please everybody. Can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? Please God and please yourself and walk and live your life. Come on! Please God and please yourself. Listen, if God has no issue with your Lamborghini, buy your Lamborghini and drive it across the highway. Are you hearing me? Please him. He says, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. If he is well pleased, it doesn't matter what the next door neighbor is saying or thinking about you. Are you hearing me? The Bible says, it beat into the boat so that it was already feeling. Sometimes the battle is so serious and so fierce that we feel we are about to drown. Next verse says, but he was in the stern. Hello. In the midst of what you're going through, he is still seated on the throne with all power in his hand. While you're going through what you're going through, I know the pain is real, but he is still the one who watches over his word in order to perform it. Nothing escapes his control. He has not said his last word. Let people put a full stop on the sentence of your life. Let them do it because you know that they are not the right, the one writing the script of your life. 
as long as he has not put a full stop it doesn't matter who is putting another full stop the truth of the matter is that the writer is still writing there is another layer that you don't know about there is another chapter that you've not heard about. There is another episode of my life that you have not seen yet. Don't mock me just yet. Don't call me names just yet. Don't discard me just yet. Don't put me aside just yet. There is something about my life that has not yet manifested. But he was in the turn, asleep on a pillow. And they awoke him and said to him, teach her, do you not care that we are perishing? Anybody who has ever been in a situation when you thought maybe God doesn't care after all? Anybody? Let me see your hand. If you've ever been in that position, I have, I know I have. But what you have to understand is that he never told you cross over to the other side. He said, let us. He never put you in that boat alone to go, to go. He is in the boat with you. He is in the boat with you. Wherever it is that you find yourself right now, he is there with you. When you're counting your pennies, he is counting them with you. When you make sure that you at least change ties every single Sunday because you only have one start and you can at least pretend that something is different by changing ties, he, he is there with you. When you're crying, saying, Lord, I don't understand. They came after me. But the breakthrough manifested before mine. He is there with you. When you're wondering, where is God? I am here to tell you, it is there, right there. While you're being evicted and you're things a day on the streets and people are passing and saying isn't that the lady that always sings praises and disturbs us in the middle in the middle of the night praying to a certain god where is her god now when your god is with you right there in the streets with your belongings when your child your son He's being sentenced and is going to jail. He is there with you. When you cannot even show your face in some places because you got debt everywhere and everybody's looking for you, He is there with you. And all that time, the future is still in the inside of you. This too shall pass. This too shall pass. He is a faithful God. I don't know who I'm talking to, but somebody must hear this. He is a faithful God. He is a miracle working God. He is the one who causes the last to become the first and the first to become last. He is a story changer. He is a destiny changer. He makes a way where there seemed to be no way even in the wilderness. He will make a way for you. Rivers in the desert he will allow just so that you can quench your thirst. I call him the God of my father. I call him the God of Alf Lukau. 
is the God of my covenant. He's the God of my knees. Every time I cry to him, he answers. Listen, he knows your knees. He hears the noise that is coming out of your spirit and that nobody else can hear. Life is real. It happens. Pain is real. You feel it. But I'm here to tell you, your God is real. His word is real. His promises are real. His angels are real. And I see tonight an angel coming for somebody. There is something that has been dispatched from heaven for you that is coming your way. In the name of Jesus. Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? Next verse. Then he arose. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. I said, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. I said, let God arise and his enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, then he arose. If there's been a time where we must pray is in MFB time. If there's been a season where we must call upon the name of the Lord, it is in this season. There is too much at stake because there is a domino effect of miracles that are about to shower your life. That's why the devil is holding on, fighting you because he knows the moment you hit the first, Everything will fall like a pot, like a pack of cards. Let's pray, people, in this season. My mother, my inspiration, Bishop Celeste Lacau, lately has been speaking to us as sons and daughters, telling us go back to prayer. Go back to retreat of prayers. Isolate yourself. Find a place where there is nothing to distract you. Find in the hustle and bustle of your everyday routine and activity. Find a place. Lock yourself up. Call upon your name. The name of Jesus I wanted to say. Call upon his name that he may arise. Because when he arises... The story changes. I stand as an authorized mouth of God to tell you that the story is changing. I say the story is changing. He arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. There was more to say, but allow me, because of time, to conclude with this. Jesus was in their boat. Where is he now? He's in the inside of you. He's in the inside of you. What are you pregnant with? You're pregnant with the word that he, had, he has given you. You are pregnant with the word that he has given you. You know, sometimes when, 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 when you mention some, that, that's why sometimes we just have to be quiet. Because when we mention some things that we have seen or that God has said, you cannot find somebody to say amen to you. I remember once sharing Something that I had seen in an open vision by day, not by night. It wasn't a big church, maybe about 200, 250 people. I only received one amen. It's all right. 
Because the, the person that say amen was a beautiful woman by the name of Prophetess Virginia Pinto. A colored woman from Zimbabwe that are still, has since rather gone to be with the Lord during COVID-19. But there is not one of the prophecies that she has given me, my own spiritual father has not confirmed. So sometimes it's not about how many people are saying amen. As long as the right people are saying amen. Are you hearing what I'm saying to you? You are pregnant with the word that he has spoken over you. For now, nobody's looking, nobody's seeing. But there shall come a time where even if you put one coat over another, over another, and over another, they will still see that you're carrying something. Some, it will be their opportunity to attack you even more. But to some, it will be opportunity to cheer you up until you deliver. The only word he gave me said, tell my people their future is in the inside of them. For the disciples, their future was Jesus. He, is, he was the one who said, let us cross over. Where was Jesus? He was with them in the boat. Who is Jesus? He is the Word. So that Word, if you will carry it and run with it and walk with it and confess it, it will produce the future, the next level that God or for which God had given that Word. Finally, they made it over to the other side. But I close by saying this. He will no longer come physically down to speak to the waves and rebuke the sea. He is in the inside of you. So it is now your responsibility to arise. Like he arose. It is your responsibility to arise. Who's carrying the word? It is you. Arise. Rebuke. Bind. Cast out. Destroy. In Nigeria we say scatter. In the name of Jesus. To ensure that great calm comes. That you may enter into your next level. I want you to stand. I want you to stand. With your eyes closed. With your hands lifted. Your next level. Your future. Is in the inside of you. That word. It will come to pass. Hold on to it. Keep on keeping on. Answer the requirements. Of the word that has been given to you. If it will force you. To walk in certain way, walk in that way. Lift your hands. Father, in the name of Jesus, though the reality of our battle cannot be denied.
Though the severity of our pain cannot be overlooked. One thing remains clear even today in our hearts and in our minds. You are not a man that you would love. Nor the son of a man that you would repent. You have not changed your mind. Even in the days where we disappointed you. Even in the seasons of our unfaithfulness. You remain faithful and true to your word. Father, I present unto you every son and every daughter. Those on site and those online with their hands lifted. Lord, I pray that from this day forward, we will understand that there is no need to ask for you to take us to the next level. Because the next level is already in the inside of us. Give us now the tenacity, the determination to arise like you arose. To bind on earth so that heaven may bind. To lose on earth so that heaven may lose. So that we may see the manifestation of the promises and of the word of God in our lives. Under this atmosphere, keep your hands lifted. God is healing you in your body. For the Bible says that if the power that rose Christ Jesus from the dead dwells in the inside of you, that same power will vitalize your mortal body. From within there is a power Telling you and making you whole right now. Causing that cancer to leave. That blood pressure to be regulated. That sugar diabetes to leave. That blood to be purified in the name of Jesus. I speak healing over you in the name of Jesus. I command that pain to go in Jesus mighty name. I decree and I declare every line of limitation placed before you is being erased now by the power in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You will cross over to the other side. The devil like it or not, no obstacle, no hurdle, no mountain placed before you shall stand. Who are you great mountain before the child of God? You shall become a plain. I decree and I declare under the sound of my voice every mountain in front of you is becoming a plain now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth every trap they set for you they are falling in it themselves in the name of Jesus. I say they are falling in it themselves in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Everything that stood against you is falling before you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Arise, son of God. Arise, daughter of Zion. It is your time because your next level is in the inside of you in Jesus mighty name so shall it be it cannot be otherwise God bless you Shalom thank you for tuning into our broadcast we trust that you've been blessed for more information and resources visit our website at www.alleluiaministries.com for our prayer line you may call the numbers on your screen Tune into our next broadcast. Stay blessed.